everybody. Hope everybody is having a good day. I am working on some of my Halloween projects. And I've got one set over here that I'm just waiting to dry to finish the embellishment on. And then I'm going to do a pour on this. And then I have these oh, little, they look a hot mess right now, little ghosts and pumpkins and bats that I'm going to use to embellish this. That I, It's all stuff from the dollar store. This over here is a coffin and it's, I got it for I think 25 cents last year on clearance at Joann's. And I have a video on that as well that I will post. They're just in steps, so I have to post them as I get it done. Since it's a three or four step process. But this one here, we're going to do a pour on. And I think we're going to use black and purple Let's see which purple here if I wanted to put some silicone in one of the colors and some pearl white I think that would be good for a haunted house because I don't want it to just be black I did put one coat of paint and primer, the two times Rust-Oleum. And maybe I should shake those a little before. So I did do that. And I don't think we need silicone. If we do, we'll sprinkle some on at the end since we have metallics here. I just need to check the paint consistency and make sure we don't need to thin them down any. So I am, this is a metallic black. And then we have my, I call it people, people eater purple that I made and just a little bit of the pearl white. And the pearl white does have the extreme glitter mixed in. So let me grab a paper towel and we're going to check the consistency since they've been sitting here for a few days in their little cups. No, nope, still fine. So we're good with the purple. Check the black. The black we definitely need to thin out. So let me grab my pouring medium. And this is just the golden gloss medium that Duggar had given me to check out. Okay, that's perfect. I'm gonna test that purple a little bit more. I think I'm gonna thin that out just a little bit since the black got a little thinner. So just a little bit. Perfect, okay. Then let's test the pearl. Pearl is perfect, I think. Let me have maybe one drop. Okay. Sorry if it's going out of focus. It's because I keep putting my hands in the way. So. Okay, that's great. Perfect. Okay. So, let 
Let me get a little cup to throw them in. And we will put a little silicone and I just put a couple squirts in the bottom and it's just the three in one silicone. You can get it for like two bucks at Walmart and I just mix it around the bottom just to help release the paint that glitter on my hand so now I have glitter in the cup smooth move Carrie smooth move okay so let's start with a little bit of the black and then a little purple and then the pearl and we'll just go back and forth I don't have a whole lot of pearl which is fine I'm just using the pearl to give it kind of like a wispy, spooky look. I mainly want it to be purple and hints of black, so. I am filling the cup up all the way just because I want to make sure that I have enough everywhere. Get the rest of that out of there so I can wash my little cup and reuse it. I'm all about getting every last drop of paint, even though I end up spilling it all over my wax paper and everything. Trust me, I use almost every paint that is spilt, even on the wax paper. I use it for paint skins, for dipping, all kinds of different stuff. Okay. And then the last of the metallic black. Okay. And then the last of the purple. Like I said, I want it to be primarily purple so hopefully it turns out that way okay oh, there we go We're just going to give it a pour everywhere. Not much of the pearl is showing through. Oh, it's starting to come out now, so let's run it along everywhere. Okay. And we literally got almost every last drop out of that cup. So that's a cup that I can wash out and use again which is good okay let me give it a small torch and then we'll see what we get I am going to 
touch up with my fingers the edges and the little creases make sure that we get all the sides Okay, I just want to move it around, make sure that I got it all. The back will be a mess, but that's fine because I will end up painting the back a solid color. Or maybe even put felt on the back. Okay, so this is what we got, and I will show you a close-up. I am going to lay it like that so it's not laying in the paint. Okay, so here is the close-up. Here is the bottom right side. I like the swirl that it gave. It's like almost a metal, or not metallic, but a marble look. So I think that would look really cool with the pumpkins and the bats and everything I do need to give it another torch because I see some bubbles right in here and that is actually from that um that gloss medium because I noticed on the last two paintings that I did the same bubbles and even though I torched the heck out of it they still had the bubbles so I might take a toothpick to it and pop the bubbles but I will be back with the next part. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Okay, we are all dry here. I'm just gonna bring that up for you to see. It's completely dry. Um, it will have a coat of varnish when it's all said and done. But that's what the house looks like. And then we have all these little critters that we are gonna put on it. So we have the ghost, we have pumpkins, bats. We're just gonna put them just sporadically, no real game plan in mind. I've got my glue gun here. They did come with little, let me show you one of the other ones because I took these off. They did come with the little glue dots on the back, but I took them off. I wanted them to lay more flat so we're gonna just put a little bit of hot glue on them and lay them down I think we're gonna put a pumpkin over here this corner here the jets going by. I live over the airline for military base and for the airport. So <laughs> it's always planes and I live right by the bombing range. So there's always bombs going off too. pumpkin so far. I'm not sure if I should add extra pumpkin over there. So let me grab one and we'll check it out. 
think that might be too much. I don't know. Wish I had gravestones a little smaller than the ones that I use in my molds. Because I thought that'd be cute at the bottom, but you can always paint something down later. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and add that pumpkin anyways. Let them hang off the side a little bit. Like I said, this is just merely for decorations or I'll give it to the little boys down the road for their decorations. Okay. Then we will put some ghosts, I think one right there would be cute. Maybe going into the window a little bit. I mean, this whole project cost me all of like two fifty to do. Cause got this at the dollar store. Got all these in a pack at the dollar store, and then the paint and flow troll which really, I already had it mixed, so that didn't cost anything either. Let's put one right there. I do want to leave the hole there so I can put the hanging device back on it. So. Sorry, hot. And then put one more, maybe over here. Got glue gun cobwebs on me. And then we will call it done. Right there. And there we go. So there is our little tiny haunted house. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I hope everybody has a great day. Take care.